Hey, everybody. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Let's Get to Work. I'm your host, Scott Weiss. You know, a couple weeks ago, I was on my couch scrolling through Amazon uh, instant video, as I often do, spending way too much time trying to figure out what I'm going to watch next. When I came across a trailer for a documentary called Charged, and I thought it looked really interesting, so I queued it up and was fortunate enough to watch the entire documentary, the story of Eduardo Garcia. Eduardo is an American celebrity chef. He's the co-founder of Montana Mex, a Mexican food company based in Montana. He's known as the bionic chef because he cooks with a prosthetic left arm, which is the result of an accident uh, he incurred while hiking in 2011, which is the subject of the documentary. It's a, it's a great, great documentary film. I watch a lot of documentaries, probably three or four a week, and this has been one of my favorites. Mm. And we're really fortunate to have Eduardo with us here today to talk about his career, his experiences as uh, an entrepreneur, of course, how his life has been affected by his accident. And uh, you guys are going to get a good opportunity to get to know this guy really well. So welcome, Eduardo. It's great to have you. Hey, Scott. Thanks for having me. I'm psyched to be here. So... Eduardo, let's jump right in. You went. To, you grew up in Montana. Um, I understand uh, your father. Why don't you give me a little bit of, of about your background in terms of your childhood, and then take us up to the point of where you moved to Seattle to go to school at the Art Institute. Yeah, sure. So, um, I guess a, a lesser known fact. You know, I'm definitely Montanan through and through. Um, sort of, you know, been in the state since 86, but I was born in Van Nuys, California. And um, yeah, at the young bushing age of six, we moved to Southwest Montana. And um, gosh, I think I, I, I'm not certain where everyone is listening in from, but um, I remember growing up with kind of the, the feedback from we have lots of relatives on the East and West Coast. And, you know, everyone thought, you know, you guys ride horses to school and you even have running water out there in Montana, you know, so it felt like optically it felt from the feedback that we really had moved to like the, you know, the end of the earth. And yet, um, as I've come to know it as an adult, it just was such a um, such a gift to grow up, in, you know, so entrenched in um, in a rural community and in a place with such a 